What's up guys, this is Will of Will H Tech Review back with another video. Today, I'm gonna be using my Microsoft Surface Go 2 to edit a video. So this is gonna be a 1080p, 60 frames per second video. And the purpose of this is just to show that you can use this little device to make some simple videos. Now I have the entry level, the Intel Pentium Core, uh, 4425Y processor with four gigabytes of RAM. And uh, just to show if you got some fun little videos or even for YouTube like I'm doing right now, where you don't have to put a bunch of effects in it and do 4K videos and things of that nature, this would be good for on the go. And I'm gonna show you that you can use this. So this is the onboard video editor that uh, Windows includes with this device. And it has some great little features to it as well. So you're able to do quite a few things as I bring it up here. It's called Video Editor. And as you can see, Video Editor there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, guys, so you guys can get a better look at this. Okay, so you can see I did a little test video here, a couple of tests. And so I want to finish working on this uh, project right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And as you guys can see, the only thing that is there is the title. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to add my video. So I'm going to add it from this PC over here on the side right here. It says from your PC, from my collection, from the web. So I'm going to go ahead and add from my PC. And it's going to bring up my, my files here. So all I have to do is go and find the video that I want to drop in here. So I'm going to go into my downloads and I am going to select this video right here. Yeah, this is the one I want right here. So I'm going to add it to my, so it says adding files. So there's the video, it popped up right here. So I can go ahead and I can place it in the storyboard right here. I can delete it. Uh, I can view view it medium. I can view it small. Uh, you have your normal functions here. You got your back arrow there, your forward arrow, your background music, custom audio, finish the video. So I'm going to go ahead and add this video to the timeline here. So let's add that. Let's add it right there. So now here it is. Now, like I said, I can add background music. And here's some included music here, or you can use your own. You can control the volume, things of that nature there. Uh, you can also uh, customize your audio. So to add custom uh, sounds that you want, that's what I was just telling you about before. You can finish the video. And over here in the sub menu over here, you got uh, duplicate project backup project you got themes here that you can use so here are some of the different things you can use so uh, you got that ability to do that so i just changed my theme there so let's go ahead What's and up, play guys? that this is will if will h tech review back with another video so I don't want that. I, did, I mistakenly did that. So I'm going to go back and put no theme and done. So it says changing the theme right there. All right. So down here, I can add a, add a title card. I can trim it. I can split it. I can add text motion. I'm not sure. Add camera motion. You can add 3D effects. So it's getting the 3D effects of, uh, ready there. So if I wanted to add some leaves. We're going to go ahead and add those leaves and check it out. So let's go ahead and play it. So now you can see the, the leaves are dropping in my, in my video there. So that's pretty cool. Let's go back to the 3D effects. And I don't want that at all so you got effects and then you got your 3d library over here service unavailable right now so but i want to take that uh take that the leaves off of there because i don't <laughs> i just don't want those in there so 
let's go back and let's take care let's take that off of there so now the leaves are gone should be let's uh, go ahead awesome yeah okay so you can control the speed you have filters here your normal filters and things like that uh cancel that and you can control your speed here speed your video up you do have uh, this look like a remove the black bar so you can shrink and uh, shrink to fit the screen um, not sure what this is rotate oh you can rotate your 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 video and then you can remove all so all right those are some of the features that it has so here's the video. Now this is about a case that I picked up for my Canon M50. And I want to go ahead and just edit this. What's up guys? This is Will of Will H Tech. I like to go through another video. And, and if today I make some be looking at a verbal case that I picked up for my awesome. If I make some verbal uh, mistakes, I like to go through and I like to edit those out. I have a bad habit of saying uh 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 so I try and <laughs> I try to go through and remove some of those. You can also full screen this as well, as you guys can see. So here's the video. So, Canon M50 that I recently picked up. And without realizing that I need accessories for this thing, I went out and bought. All right. So I want to add a title card to this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to. So when you bring up that, you have the you can have, tell how long you want the title card to be one second, two seconds, three seconds. So I'm going to make it uh, about five seconds. I'm going to add my text here. So the text I'm going to put my title, uh, my channel title here. So W I one one L L H check and then I want to put the review at the bottom so I'm going to skip R E V I E W all right so now I have my text in there so I can select how I want that to appear it could be simple like this I can change it to that which is cool I can do it like joy right there classic adventure I kind of like this adventure one so I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. Uh, like I said, you can control how long uh, you want this to play right here at the bottom down here. So I'm gonna press done. You do have your layouts here where you can put it in the corner, you can put it in the center, you can put it over to that side. So a lot of little great little features here, man. So I'm gonna press done. So that is my uh, title right there. So let's go ahead and play the video and see what we got. What's up, guys? This is Will. If Will. All right, you guys saw that, so let's do it again. What's up, guys? This is Will. All right, so what I don't see in here is tra uh, transitions. So uh, I'm gonna add some music to my title right here. So I'm gonna do a customized audio. So I'm gonna add a file from my music that I have on my uh, little computer here. So let's see which one I want. I want something that's gonna be kind of upbeat and kind of hot. Get your attention as we're coming into the video. <laughs> So let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see. I thought I had more selections on here than this, but we'll do this one here. I'm not sure what this is, but we're gonna go ahead and play that one. Let's see. What's up guys? Yeah, so that's, that's going to be cool right there. So 
I'm gonna make that five seconds, I think. So let's do it. Okay guys, so let's check out uh, my music with my intro and then we'll go from there. So let's see how this, how this goes here. Up, guys? So that's Will perfect timing right there. So now I want to add an end card. So let's go ahead and add another card here. But I want this card to be on the end. Uh, no, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add a. Uh, so you can right click on this, and you can you can control the duration of it. You can edit the title in the background. You can cut the title, copy the title, remove this card. So I'm going to remove that card. And what I want to do is add my, my, uh, outro. So I'm going to go ahead over here, go to PC. That's where I'm going to choose it from. And I already have my outros and intros in here, supposedly. <laughs> And let's see, go to this PC. Let's go to my downloads here. It may be in the download folder. Yeah. So here's my outro. I'm going to go ahead and drop that in there. So here it is. I'm going to go ahead and play it. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop it in there. I know what it is, so I don't need to play it right away. So let's go ahead and... Started from the beginning. What's up, guys? This is Will of Will H Tech Review. Carry. All right, so I want to go down to where you get to my outro here and see how that transforms over to the end of the video. Guys, in the next video, Will H, and I'm out. Okay, so. There's no music there, so I want to drop a little music on my outro. So let me go ahead and see. Do that with the, so I'm going to customize. Uh, let's add a file here, music file. And as you guys can see, this is my, really my first time using this. I've been playing around with it, but. I haven't really used it before, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this one here. So at the end of it, so let's let's check it out. Let's see what it, how it plays here. Back this. All right, so I'm gonna go done, and I'm gonna back this up just a little bit to see how it comes out or any camera you have, so as you can see there, pretty neat and compact. Catch you guys in the next video, Will H, and I'm out. All right, I see I need to start my music just a little bit sooner. So I'll camera take a mental, for my mental note 50. as to where any camera you have, so as you can see there, I need to start pretty it. Pretty neat and compact. Catch you guys in the next video, Will H, and I'm out. So 442 is where I need to start my music. Okay guys, so let's check this out and see how the timing is on it. So I'm gonna back it up just a little bit here and hit play. Pretty neat, compact. Catch you guys in the next video, Will H, and I'm out. So that is right on time, exactly like I like it. And that is pretty cool. So this is the completed video. I don't need to go through and correct anything else. So let's look at the intro. What's up guys, this is Will of Will H Tech Review 50. Now. All right, so the the whole video is done and it's four minutes, 52 seconds. So now what I'm going to do is go over here and press finish video. And it uh, gives you the recommended 1080p to export it. You can also do 720 or you can do 5, 
540, 720p, 540p. I'm going to go with the 10, 1080p and I'm going to export it. And it gives you a choice where you want to drop it. So I'm going to drop it right here in my, I'm going to drop it in my photo, uh, videos here. So case review, I got the name of it there. So export it and let's see how long this takes. Yeah, if it takes too long, I'll just stop the video and uh, let you guys see at the end of it how long it took. But look like it's moving along pretty good for a almost five-minute video. So you can see the blue line is definitely moving pretty swift there. So this is just a show with the entry-level uh, Microsoft Go. You can do some video editing, light video editing. If you need to do it on the go, you're not going to be putting in uh, transitions. You do have 3D effects, and, and you can add in your text. You can split it and things of that nature, but um, not too bad for a little device like this. And as you can see, it is definitely uh, moving along pretty good there, and we haven't even made a minute in, I guess. Um, so not too bad. All right, guys, so it's just about at the end of the exporting here. It's been about three, three minutes or four minutes or so. So about a minute per, about four minutes to do a almost five minute video here. And it automatically starts playing it as you guys can see. What's up guys? This is so Will this video Jack will be posted with another video on my, we're gonna uh, be looking at a carrying case that I picked up for my awesome YouTube channel. And this will, you'll you see, this is where I actually edit the video on my little Microsoft Surface Go. So, all right, guys, that's just a look at how you can do a little video edit on your Microsoft Surface Go. Catch you guys in the next video. Will H, and I'm out.